What's up, Taurus? It's bonus time for me. Bonus time. Those of you new to my channel when I do these bonuses, I just kind of like to see if I can maybe grab some details that I may have missed the last time, possibly. Um, maybe look at the situation from a different perspective or, oh, cards are already jumping out. Or maybe even just tell a completely different story about a different situation, you know? You never really know, but I think it's kind of fun. So, so let's hop into this. Let's see if I can pull some Taurus energy into my deck here. What messages do we have for Taurus Universe for May 2019? What else can we tell my Taurus people for May 2019? My Taurus people, how y'all been though? How y'all been? It's been your season. Tis the season to be jolly. Is it the season to be jolly? <laughs> Let's get four shuffles here. Here's one. Two. Three and four. Mm. Ah, okay. So overall throughout the month of May, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, you either already started or you're about to start something new. Hopefully, Taurus. Hopefully. Okay. I mean, I know it takes a long time to get you up and moving. But the energy's there. The energy is there. And this isn't necessarily just your decision. I think people may be even noticing that this was, it's just like, it's time now. You know? It's, I hate to use fluffy phrases like, uh, divine intervention, but that's what it looks like to me. And I don't think, uh, the people around you are, are like oblivious to this. Okay. Cause this is how you appear from the outside looking in. Like this is, it's just time. It's time. But on the inside here, 10 of cups, 10 of cups. So, Hmm. I'm going to see more about what you, you're either ready to move on to some type of new situation here or, depending on what the rest of the spread says, we will see. Hang on. Okay. Yep, that's kind of what I thought. Kind of what I thought. You're, like, the energy's there, dude. It's pushing you, Taurus, but you're just like a damn bull. You're just standing there not moving. <laughs> you're not moving, dude. Four of swords, six of cups reversed, and the star in the reverse. I kind of feel like you... Whatever this situation is, you're still processing through the negativity of it, all right? Trying to make logical sense of it, but the more sense you try to make, the less sense it makes, <laughs> you know? And that's how these situations work. That's the point of, and I also hate using words like karma, okay? Because that has some kind of punishment connotations behind it. And it's not punishment. It's just the situation you're trying to work out right here. That's the point of it, because with our human brains, we try to make logical sense of things. But from a universal perspective, our human brains don't know diddly squat, okay? So the more sense you try to make of it, the less sense it makes, and that's the point. The point is for you to turn this four of swords in the reverse. It's really hard for you to do, Taurus. You could possibly be dealing with a Scorpio or another Taurus, but I feel like the person that you're dealing with, man... Death card, there's no growth, no expansion here. There's just not. So I feel like they're looking for an open door here. They're looking for an open door. Yeah, see, you're not listening to your intuition, dude. You're slowly but surely coming to your senses. But it's taking a long time because I feel like you're trying to do it more with your ego brain than you are by actually trusting your intuition. And you can. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. <clears throat> if you're really relentless enough, which Taurus, I know you are, okay? If you're relentless enough, you could figure it out with your thinking brain. But are you willing to like spend your whole life doing that? Because that's about what this is going to take right here. It's about what it's going to take. You're starting to realize that for the most part, you're good. You, you function best on your own. I think you know it, but it scares the hell out of you. But that's the point, you know, that's the point of new cycles. They're not supposed to be comfortable. They're not supposed to be comfortable. Okay. 
Uh, well, the person you're dealing with, though, I mean, it doesn't really, it look, man, I just feel this, this sense of, here's the building, or the tower, let's put the tower here. It's the death card here, but it's still kind of the same energy. With this, hang on, this right here tells me everything I need to know, really. We're going to pull a spread on them here in just a minute. But this tells me everything I need to know, okay? That tower is just hanging on by a thread. And the person you're dealing with is just holding on to it like this. <laughs> you know? So, let's look a little bit more into the person you're dealing with, though. Look just a little bit more into the person, people, and or situations having the biggest influence on Taurus this month. Let's get four shuffles here. There's that moon for the second time. Could be a Pisces too, but hang on. One, two, three, and four. Yep, they're waiting. They're waiting. I mean, it's the emotional. The emotional connection is becoming more and more dull and faint. Okay, they had the Knight of Cups in the upright on the last spread. Now they have it in the reverse here, but it's because the Queen of Cups has reversed. They do have the Fool and the Page of Pentacles right here. Okay, so it's not like it's not like it's a flat out refusal. Okay. But the thing about it is, is that that in, that initial, I feel like this person was was running on basically the initial emotional spark, which is what most people do, okay? But it's common sense, y'all. That goes away after a while. That goes away. And what most people do, once that goes away, they're like, oh, well, this isn't the person I'm supposed to be with because I don't feel that way no more. So they go and jump onto somebody else. Same thing. Boom, 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 sparks flying, and then after a while, that goes away. And then you think that, oh, there's no person I'm supposed to be with. Dude, okay? So that's what's going on here. They're very determined, though. They're very determined to get that spark back. And maybe what I title this video. But this is still one sided. It's very, very one sided. And they're not putting in the proper work. Somebody here, it could this could be very, you know, like, Mutually exclusive, okay? But it's very one-sided. Okay, there's not equal give and take. But still, like I said, I had a feeling it was going to come up. That tower is just hanging by a thread, dude. And they're just like, i got to hold this tower in place. Urgh, you know? <laughs> oh, good okay. So what timelines is Taurus headed towards? Anything new coming in for Taurus? What timelines is Taurus headed towards for the month of May? Anything new coming in for my Taurus people? Or are they just going to stay right where they're at? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Ooh, seven of cups reversed. Yep. You don't have any other options right now, do you? Or maybe you do and you just don't want them. Let's go ahead and get five shuffles here. There's one, two, three, four, and five. See, there's that Six of Cups reversed. There's that Six of Cups reversed. So I don't really see, I don't really see a whole lot of action being taken here. I had the Six of Cups reversed for Aries too, and here's the Emperor reversed. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries too. 
Don't have to be though. It doesn't really matter. But overall right here, I see you doing your best to get over the disappointment. You know, start trying to look at the positive aspect of things right here. But <laughs> the, the part of it is, here's the thing. <sighs> here's that Ace of Wands again. Here's the Ace of Wands again. You're losing control of it. You're losing control. But you're ignoring that. You're ignoring it. <laughs> so what do we do? We go deep inside and try to manifest. Try to manifest, you know, something, not, not necessarily something new. Even though you did have the Ace of Wands right there, I don't really see you trying to manifest something new. I kind of see you're trying to manifest the tower rebuilding itself all by itself. Oh, Taurus, 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 what you doing, man? Well, what advice do we have? What advice do we have for my Taurus people? Advice. Mm. <laughs> There's that Eight of Swords again. Yeah, you may already be doing what you need to be doing. If you are so dead set on basically getting over it but not changing anything, you have no choice. You have no choice but to put a blindfold on. You have no choice. Mm, okay. This is one of those things that split right down the middle. Split right down the middle. Okay. I kind of feel like it's like, okay, you have one or two choices. You can either ignore the truth. If that's what makes you comfortable. Or you can stop waiting on this and turn around and find something new. All right, one of the two. Let's get five shovels here. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So, again, this is one of those 50-50 right down the middle. What do you really want, Taurus? What do you really want? Because you got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. So, with this Two of Swords energy right here, what do you really want? Do you want to keep things the way they are? Which I know that's like your favorite thing to do. You know, favorite thing to do in the world. So... You got a choice. You want to keep things the way they are? And put that blindfold on and just ignore the truth. Okay? You want something new? You want something new? It's time for you to put on the brakes, turn around, smash the gas. And that's all there is to it. But, King and Queen of Pentacles both in the reverse. Don't be so damn stubborn, Taurus. <laughs> How do you tell a Taurus not to be stubborn? It's like telling a fish not to swim, dude. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, fish, get out and walk. <laughs> well, let's see if you can figure it out. You could manifest it. If you really, really wanted to, you could manifest it. Absolutely. It's up to you. It's up to you. The only thing you really face at the end of the day when when it comes to, like, Taurus and, and, or any of the fixed signs or anything like that, when you want to travel outside of your comfort zone, the only thing you're facing is your own emotions. That's it. That's it. You're all. That's all you're facing. There's nothing else out there that's going to hurt you. It's, you. it's your own emotions. It's the only thing that gets in your way. All right. So, hey, what do you really want? That may be what I titled this video. What do you really want? Anyway, I greatly appreciate all y'all for tuning in to the little bonus. Um... We'll see how everything plays out throughout the month with the daily readings and whatnot. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Have a good one.